Last weekend, our Sam LaSan Jr. spent some time at the intertribal Native American powwow in drums. Here's part of his interview with Chief Lynn Little Wolf. Powwow originally was when uh, the Native people, the large villages, would split up into small family groups and they would go off to what we would call winter camps because it's easier to feed 10 people than it is to feed 100 people. So they all went their different ways to uh, winter, so to speak. In the spring, they would all come back together in this large village type setting and they would have a big a big party, a big get together and a big celebration. Uh, that was the start of, of, of powwow, what we, that we know today. And then it picked up in the reservation era when the Indians were all put on reservations and they had nothing to do, uh, dance became much more important and powwows became more plentiful and they were all year round at that point in time. What are we going to see today with the ceremony? I'm going to MC and we're going to we're going to explain as we go, you know, what the different dances are, what the categories are, uh, if they are tribal dances or uh, mostly we have all come together and we have adopted uh, just certain styles of dance, not, they're not necessarily tribal. A lot of them have developed from tribal things, uh, uh, like our grass dancer, if we had a grass dancer, uh, which I don't know if we have today. Uh, in the olden days, when the Indians would come together to dance on the prairies, the grass was high, it was hard to dance in that high grass. They had designated dancers, grass dancers, who would go out and dance and stomp down the grass. And uh, so we have people today who do that grass dance. We send them in first symbolically to stomp down the grass for us. Uh, and they wear a, a, a lot of yarn and loose uh, on their regalia. And it, it's supposed to represent the uh, flowing of the grasses in the breeze and the wind on the, on the prairie. So a lot of dances are area specific they were adopted from you know different areas of the, basically all of North America. So this is open to the public what would you like the public to know about the the tribes? Well we, we would like to teach them and have them understand you know that we are not we're not heathens uh, and and show them how hard it is for us to to walk on with one foot on one side of a line and one foot on the other side. Uh, we want to live our ancient tribal ways, but we've got to live in today's society. Uh, and that's why powwow is so important for us to come together. We can, we can, we can put both feet on that side of the line at powwow, at, the, at our old ancient traditional ways, at, you know, at powwow. So we, I'd like the, powwow, uh, the public to, you know, understand that, that we are a very spiritual people. Uh, when we come together here, there's no animosity among us. And we would like other people to see that and, and uh, try to, you know, try to learn we can all get along that way.